Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Vasa Olga. In today's video, we're going to be doing another Fix My Makeup vlog. Today, we're fixing Lindsay Lohan makeup. Okay, I feel like we need to talk. It's mainly going to be about foundation and contour. We're going to break down this look. We're going to talk about her makeup look, my interpretation of her smoky eye, my interpretation of her lip, my interpretation of her contour, of the whole look as a concept. If you're interested in how to get this pretty fixed makeup look, stay tuned and we're gonna get started. I believe this is the first time doing Lindsay on my channel, though we can turn this into serious. In her days, not really successful days, she put quite a show for us. So I'm gonna be getting this sun cream on top of my face. This is Korean brand. You can use absolutely any sun cream. As my primer, I'm going to this balm. This is Nivea Balm Lotion for men. And you can use any sort of primer. You can go to this Nivea Lotion. I believe she doesn't even have any sort of foundation. It's just some contour, rough contour. With my LA Girl Concealer, it's going to be on the sides of my face a little bit. I'm not going to create anything crazy. I want to warm up my complexion a little bit. If you watched one of my previous videos where I talked about undertones, I talked about mixed undertones. So I have neutral and olive undertone down to my neck. It's olive. My face is neutral with a little bit of cool underneath my eyes. So if you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, highly recommend this video. It's going to be linked down in the description box. And I'm going to make sure that I have very well blended concealer. Frankly speaking, I showed you in my video that I did a little bit of purple first and then added a little bit of olive to match my skin. Today I was like, okay, so what if I just mix these two together? It's still going to be there. I mean, like I'm going to add a little bit of purple and then I'll add a little bit of green on top from the same palette. Let's do my foundation on top. Uh, let's do my LA Girl leftovers. Why not? For usual, I'm going to add a little bit of my lipstick on the sides and of course my highlighter. I'm going to add a little bit more over the forehead. I'm going to set my face with this contour. This is all matte from Catrice Cosmetics. And let's do this with my brush because I don't really want to add a lot of powder today. Let's just set this in place. I'll add a little bit of this green just to match my olive undertone because it's literally missing this in my foundation. I'm going to do my contour. So if we're talking about warm undertone or neutral undertone, you can go with bronzers and you can go with contours. Just both options are available. If we're talking about, I guess with olive, it works as well. If we're talking about cool undertone, it might be a little bit dull and a little bit, you know, death-like. We're going to start with layering my color first. What you should keep in mind doing your contour and avoiding the issue with Lindsay Lohan contour. The problem, the issue with this contour, it's discolorating from the rest of the face and it's discolorating from her um, like complexion, I'd say. It's too dark and a lot of people think if I grab a contour, it should be dark. It shouldn't. If you have fair complexion and she does have fair complexion, I guess probably similar shade as my complexion, then probably it's going to be much better to use super soft color. It's very, very, very soft. So it's almost invisible. So when you grab your contour and then you try to do a swatch, it has to be almost invisible on your hand. It's like super, super soft shade. Let's start with placing this color first really close to my temple and really close to my ear. Then I'm going to stamp this with my brush. You can go straight forward and use your fluffy brush. I really love layering this color first with my big and fluffy sort of crease blending brush and then I'm gonna stop somewhere like where my eye starts maybe this way because when you bring this color too low it's really hard to blend this in this area it's always better to stop somewhere here and then with some leftovers from your brush you're gonna blend this out and I'm gonna grab a little bit of the same color you can see that it's not giving too much and then I'm gonna start blending this out 
to my temple like this so we're kind of like doing circular motions and bringing this up to my temple and you see that i started with the place where i had the most color and then i kind of moved this a little bit lower and then brought this up to my temple and this is the shape that you're gonna do this for my forehead i'm going with a little bit different product this is bronzer i love doing bronzer over my forehead it's gonna be with swift and fast motions so i'm kind of like doing this with big and fluffy brush and blending this into my hairline and then as my final step it's going to be for the nose contour she does have a little bit of nose contour but you can hardly see that and i love doing this with my angle brush you can use any sort of brush but i find it a little bit handier to use an angle brush and i'm going to my contour I'm going to start from my nose bridge. It's going to be very close to the nose bridge. Most of the time, I add a little bit of bronzer on top of my nose. Like this. You know, it's so pretty and warm. Well, she has highlighter. I can see that. She's lacking a little bit of blush because it's too cool. And I'm going to finish my left side with a contour. And um, real quick, let's show the rest of my nose technique. I'm gonna add a little bit of this white color, same angle brush, over my nose bridge. And then I'll go with a highlighter. I'm using Wet n Wild highlighter. You can use absolutely any highlighter. Create a little bit of this dimension. And uh, let's add a little bit of blush. Why wouldn't we add a little bit of blush? And I'm gonna start with same motions. Okay, I'm gonna set my face with this Essence Keep It Perfect Fix and Spray. Use my beauty blender on top to set the powders. I'm gonna do my brows the way I do. I'll fill in my brows. I'll brush up with the brow mascara my brows and finally i'll do a little bit of this nyx pan to feather my brows so i'm not saying this routine is the best but i guess this routine works for me and this concealer from maybelline i'm gonna go with my favorite palette this is from bh neutral palette for smoky looks and it has a lot of browns and a lot of shimmers we're gonna be doing i believe um smoky matte i'll go with probably something warm she does have some warm shade and with those two colors first and big fluffy brush to set my lid i want to extend my eyeshadows a little bit further as my next shade it's going to be something warm but smoky probably this brown this next to each other colors are going to pair really well for my look I want to make sure that I don't really have anything in my foundation because this is a bright, like, smoky eyeshadow. I'll pat the colors first and then with the same brush, I'll blend this into the previous shade. <sighs> Let's do a load of these two. Why not? I'll place it over my crease. And of course, I'm gonna go to my first shades that we used to set the lid and then just place it on top of those colors. Over my waterline, I'll use brown pencil. Okay, and now we are gonna add the same combination of dark colors. Well, I was thinking maybe I should add a little bit of shimmers in the inner corner because that might look really pretty. Um, just a pop of shimmers in the inner corner with this rosy shade. Let's mix it with this too. I was thinking an eyeliner, but now I'm leaning towards black pencil. With a pen brush, I'll smudge out black color and grab this warm 
brown mix of this you can go with one shade only the, the the idea that i mix them together shouldn't disturb you from using one shade only if you have a little bit different palette the same shimmers I use for my inner corner for my brow bone so i'm gonna be doing a little bit of this pink to emphasize the color of my natural lip just that much in the center of my lip and I'll mix this into my lip like that and now I'm gonna line I'll line a little bit of my lip and on top I'll go with a lip gloss I feel like lip gloss is gonna tone everything down and it's gonna take off this pink red sort of undertone Okay guys, this is the final result. I've just filmed my outfit. It's going to be available in my shorts this Friday. Okay, let's talk real quick about this look. It's super soft, super girly, smoky, very well blended, cohesive makeup look. Obsessed. I really love it. I love Lindsay Lohan. All of her films are well appreciated in my family. And especially this like 90s, early 2000s twin kind of films. Really love them. And uh, this is it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and Fix My Makeup Look series. I'm going to see you in my next video, hopefully. Bye-bye. <laughs>